Hi, it's Scott Stevens with ShaverLake.com. Shaver Lake Vacation Rentals and Colwell Baker. Shaver Lake, the 4th of July weekend has come and gone. If you weren't here, why not? It was a beautiful weekend. You missed out on the fireworks show, but you still got lots of summer fun left here. Great recreational fun. So now's the time to come up, bring a spouse, or uh, bring your whole family. So now let me put you in your happy place. Kicking back here on the shore, maybe near the point, out on road one or road two, out on a fishing boat, you and your favorite fishing pole, a tackle box, a, uh, maybe an ice cold beverage, and every now and then you pull in a kokanee or a trout, or maybe you pull in your limit. So are you there? Are you there in your happy place? Okay, let's make that a reality. Okay, only an hour away from Fresno and you're escaping that valley heat. So let's do our fishing report for this week for the Shaver Lake and Huntington Lake area. Now, Dick Nichols of Dick's Fishing Charter said the big rainbows are still the big topic here and coupled with a good kokanee bite, the past week's been a pretty good one. He's been scoring mixed limits of trout and kokanee, but the key is to locate the schools of fish. During the 4th of July weekend, Dr. Chris Lum and his 7-year-old son Jonah boated two limits of kokanee to 14 inches in a quality 3 quarter pound rainbow with orange humdingers or apex lures tipped with corn behind a Cat and Jack Dodger at a depth of 45 feet. My name is Jesse Rodriguez. I'm from Kingsburg, California. I'm here at Shaver Lake today and while we're catching some good fishes here, we're just catching and release right now. But we're using uh, power baits and grub worms and boy, it's, it's a nice weather right now, good temperature. It's uh, fishing's good out here, and it's we've been catching every hour. We've been catching about four or five fishes, just catch and release. So that's all we're doing. Have a great day, and come back here at Shaver Lake, Jeff Rodriguez. Bye. Now, bank anglers are scoring with inflated night crawlers or power eggs. Smallmouth bass action starting to heat up in the Dorabella Cove area with crickets of small spinners. There has been more interest in the high country lakes with the heat suffocating the valley. A trout plant is scheduled for Portal 4 Bay this week. Edison jumped up to 88% capacity. Florence is at 99% capacity. Court Ride is expected to be open this week. As the road is cleared to the gate, anglers were advised to call the RV park to confirm the lake is open. The streams are dangerously high and very cold and anglers were advised to pick their locations carefully since the only safe spots have been the deeper pools in Dinky Creek. Now the flows are still too high for fly fishing. Right now, Shaver Lake is at 93% capacity. Huntington Lake is at full capacity. Uh, great access to everywhere up on the hill, including up over Kaiser Ridge. So if you want to go to, to the uh, backcountry lakes up to your uh, to Edison and to Florence Lake, you do have access back in there. But the fishing's been great. But if you're just coming up to do some recreational fun, either uh, doing some boating or just watching the regatta, the High Sierra Regatta is this weekend up at Huntington Lake, or maybe doing some horseback riding or visiting some of our local museums. It's a great time to be in Shaver Lake. So check us out at shaverlake.com and call one of our friendly vacation planners today to book your cabin or a condo maybe it's you and your spouse or you and your entire family we do have availability check that out at shaverlake.com with shaverlake.com shaver lake vacation rentals and Cobo banker shaver lake come up and play